I'll never forget that night in Atlanta when I came out of the pouring rain and into the warm embrace of JR Crickets and their famous lemon pepper wet wings. A zesty, spicy dish that changed the way how I look at chicken wings. And a dish I'll never be able to have again. Nah, I'm just jacking ya. I know how to make them. Now before we begin, a quick disclaimer. This recipe is based on my memory of having the chicken wings, but I feel like my recipe is pretty close enough. With that out of the way, let's prep the chicken. So unless you went to a store where the chicken wings are pre-cut, and if you did that, text me the address, you're gonna have to separate all three parts of the wing. So if you're using a sharp knife, just cut down the center where the drumstick meets the wing, or whatever this thing's called, and just slice down the center. Put them on a separate plate. Again, just slice down the center. And uh, snip off any bone fragments you might have missed. And as for the wing tips, uh, they're mostly cartilage, so don't cook them. But don't throw this away. You can save it and make a nice, rich chicken stock. Again, down the joint. Snap it in half if you have to, and get rid of any bone fragments. Okay, once the chicken wings are nice and cut up, and you meticulously removed every single last bone fragment, it's time to make the sauce. In a small saucepan, add one cup of Frank's Red Hot. Then add one stick of butter and cut it into two pieces. and slowly melt the butter over medium heat. We want the butter to emulsify nice and slowly into the sauce. All right, reduce the heat down to low and add four tablespoons of lemon pepper. Let's also add a little bit of lemon zest. Again, just a little bit, you don't want too much. Let's give it a quick taste test. Oh yeah, it's like I'm transported back to Atlanta, baby. Sauce done, wings next. So I have right here a Dutch oven filled halfway up with oil. Vegetable oil. And a large stainless steel bowl to put the cooked wings in. Oh, by the way, I have it set to 375. It's your continent in the middle of a massive heat wave, or as we call that here in California, Wednesday number you're looking for is 190 degrees Celsius. Okay, once it reaches 375, gently dunk in our chicken. Don't overcrowd the pot. Cook until they're golden brown and delicious. And uh, once the wings float to the surface, they are more or less finished. All right, that looks pretty golden brown to me, so put them in the bowl. And continue on with the next batch. Okay, once the wings are all nice and fried up, pour our sauce over the wings. Oh, and uh, I made a double batch off camera because I like my wings nice and saucy. Give them a nice toss. Plate them up and dig in. But um, before you dig in, lights. Ooh, I think that means yes. This is Ben, Jay's Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning at this time. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, smash the like button. If you really like the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Also, don't forget to support me on Patreon. And uh, despite that cute little reference just now, I still haven't gotten around to watching the show Atlanta. Man, I never thought I'd see the day where I'm too lazy to watch TV.